So I'm talking with Chris Lintott, who is an astronomer at the University of Oxford, and he is with Galaxy Zoo. And I'll let him explain what Galaxy Zoo is. Galaxy Zoo is the world's largest astronomy collaboration. We have uh, pictures of a million galaxies taken by a robotic telescope. And the first thing we need to do is look at them to sort out these galaxies into various types. And we invited the public to log on to galaxyzoo.org and help us out. And they've done that in spades, haven't they? You've ca classified quite a few galaxies. Yeah, we've had over 100,000 people look at just about 40 million images so far in six months. So we thought this is going to, was going to take years to do, and instead it's taken over my life and we're, we're not doing much else. And they're classifying the galaxies by spiral type and by elliptical type. Yeah, there's two simple questions. The first one is, is this a big ball of stars and elliptical, or is this a nice, beautiful spiral galaxy? And if it's a spiral galaxy, which way are the arms pointing? And the idea is that that tells you about which way the galaxy is rotating. So if it's spinning clockwise or, or counterclockwise, anticlockwise, as I believe you say in England. We do, yeah. We hadn't realized anticlockwise needed translating for the Americans on the site, but, but nonetheless. <laughs> and you expect to see just as many clockwise as counterclockwise, Certainly, right? When you look at the whole sky, or a quarter of the sky as we do, when you take an average across that huge area, you should see an equal number. And the scary thing was we didn't see that. We saw more galaxies spinning anti-clockwise than clockwise, and that makes no sense whatsoever. You have to start throwing away all sorts of cosmological principles to account for this. So that makes no sense. And this has been going on for quite some time. I wrote about this, and a lot of people have written about it, and we were wondering what could possibly be causing this, and it seems that it's possible that you found the solution. Yeah, we're fairly sure now that we know where the solution lies. What we've been doing for the last a month and a half or so is showing tricking people. We've been showing people mirror images of the galaxies. So if this is a real effect in the universe, you should then see more clockwise rather than anti-clockwise. The effect should reverse. And in the data that we're releasing on our blog today, or the, that we're talking about, we don't see that. People are odd. The universe is odd. There seems to be something about the way people use our site that makes them more likely to click the anti-clockwise button. Now that could just be our site design, so we need to test that next. Or it could be telling us something about how people perceive images. So I'm going to have to go and get a second career in psychology, I think, to, to work out just what's going on here. So the fault lies not in our stars, but in ourselves. Absolutely. We're odd. The universe is fine. Well, I could have told you that in the first place. <laughs> it saved you a lot of trouble. All right, thank you very much, Chris. That's Chris Lintott from the University of Oxford and Galaxy Zoo. What's the URL there? It's www.galaxyzoo.org. So we still need people to participate in our trials. We still have galaxies and images that need classifying, and there's a lot more still to come. So please come and help us out. Thank you very much, Chris. Pleasure.